So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna design it on a 12 by 18 at 150 resolution. And then we're gonna split this up so that every six inches is a new section. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the reason I used 18 inches is because everything is going to be evenly spread out. I don't have to really deal with decimals. So each section is going to be 6 inches long. As opposed to if I used 17 inches or 11 by 17, then I'd have to figure out exactly what fraction of a decimal each one fits in. But if you do it on a 12 by, 6, 12 by 18 sheet, you could just have it shrink to fit on an 11 by 17 and it'll still look great. So the first thing I want to do is let's start to figure out where we're going to place everything. So if this is a trifold and we're looking at the outside of it, this will be the front here, right? It'd be on the far right side. This would be the center panel that goes on the back. And this here would be the back. So it's kind of backwards when you look at the outside. And then once we do the inside, this will be the first pass sheet or section. Then this is the center again, obviously, and this will be the last section. So the, the last obituary design I did was one of prints and we've already used purple. So just because of that, I'm going to make this one actually like a goldish, yellowish color to have that Lakers theme. I'm still going to use accents of purple, but mainly this is going to be a yellow obituary. Hopefully this turns out looking the way I have it vision in my somewhat have a vision in my head. Um, so like I said, this is this, this is the first section and then maybe even we might want to make like yellow and then purple and then yellow, but I'll decide that as I as I go along. So first thing I, or the next thing I want to do is go into my folder and grab all these Kobe Bryant uh, resources that I'm using. And what I'm going to do is just pull them into Photoshop so that they're ready to go for me. So we have just a few different pictures of them. And I even might, as I'm working, once I cut them out, I might decide this isn't the picture I want to use or that isn't the picture or whatever. And I'll switch it up. For now, this is good. So the next thing we got to do is make these blend into our obituary. And I think I want to crop him out of this background. Even though this background is actually kind of it's faded away and it would look kind of cool. You know what? I, let's let's see how it's gonna look before I just make that decision. Hold on. All right, wait a minute. I gotta close some of these to get to the original file. So I'm just gonna drag this one here, and as you can see, like the colors are already matching together really nicely. There's different types of things we could do to blend him in here. That's actually very dope. I think maybe I'll put this. This might even actually end up going on the back side. I don't know. Or like maybe like right here. Okay, that's cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of fade this these edges away. What I'm doing is taking the gradient tool, and then I'm gonna change this to black. Or I'm sorry, we're gonna change the foreground to black. That way our gradient is, tra or is fading from black to transparent. And then we're just gonna go ahead and drag over this mask that we've created. And that way we're fading away the picture without having to cut out anything of him. But now that I've done that, and I see how close his head is to the edge, I don't like that. So I'm gonna actually just go ahead and go out and cut this out so I can have the freedom to use it how I wish. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pen tool. 
and then I'm just gonna trace around his body. Doesn't have to be 100% accurate, but try not to cut on the outside because then you'll get part of the background into the image and that's not what you really want. It's better to cut slightly inside than to cut slightly outside. Because if there's a slither of skin missing, like nobody's gonna notice that, but if there's an additional piece of something on the outside of his skin, people would easily see that. So we're gonna make sure we stick to the inside of the cut. The reason I like to use the pen tool is because you can go back and erase points or re-edit points as you please. You can't really do that as freely with the lasso tool. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're cutting stuff out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. And then I'm gonna continue along his lip shape here. Can't really see what's happening there, so I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. So I got a nice cutout going here, and then I'm just gonna plop that right there. And then what we'll probably add here on the back is like a, I don't know, maybe a lot of times in obituaries there's like poems or letters that maybe the family wrote or maybe uh, friends wrote or I don't know somebody close to the family. So that could probably go right here. I don't have a poem or anything to put there but I'll probably put like a prayer or something there and then also in the middle part is usually where like funeral arrangements would go so that'll go like up here or something so on the back side there'd be something like a uh, Acknowledgements. So on the back, so on the back side, there'd be something like acknowledgement. Um, arrangements like where he's buried at, things like that. There's probably a poem or two on the back. We're gonna put a poem right here that I just grabbed from online. I like to use. Font like Baskerville. I want to use a serif font. I think those look good for funerals. Funeral designs.
title and like maybe Trajan or something. Uh, actually, on second thought, I'm not going to use that font because I only have this special one that I don't want to use. So maybe. So there, there'd be poems in the back, just different things that relate to the person that passed. Um, I'm gonna actually put two poems on, on this one because, perfectly honest with you, every funeral layout is gonna be different in one way or another. And they're not always gonna be laid out exactly the same. Although there's like some things that stay similar, like obviously the person the person who the funeral is for, they're always gonna go on the front. And then there's always gonna be an order of service so you know what's happening. But some things are just, it's up to the family's discretion. Like I've done funeral uh, service designs where the entire thing was just covered in different photos of the family and of the person who passed away with the family in different scenarios or like different baby pictures of them or there's so many ways to do this but there's still like a sort of order you have to follow so just take this layout that i'm doing like with a i guess like with a grain of salt because you can apply your own style to it and do it in a way that makes sense to you actually i kind of like this Sans serif file, let's do that. And then this is gonna say, whoops. When great trees fall. So right below this, I'm gonna put uh, arrangements like where the body would be buried at So I got two poems on the back, and then on the front side, I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'm done with this photo. I'd like to put a picture of Kobe, like an action on the front. So. Do something like that. Let's take these other guys off of here. And then I actually even want to, here, let's probably make this overlay too, maybe. Now, earlier I was kind of curious about what it might look like if I made this middle part purple. So let's just selecting it here with the marquee. And then I'm gonna take this black, I'm gonna turn it into like a purple. And then I'm just gonna fill this selection with it. You can do, you can do it with edit fill shift f5 or you can go right to the paint bucket and then just bam it's pretty cool and then to even further go with the theme of the colors i'm gonna make this poetry text yellow here whoops i am going to put this photo underneath the text so that we don't accidentally grab that for any reasons. Wow, this is looking dope. All right, the next thing I wanna do is uh, I wanna fill 
I want sort of like a vignette shadow thing sort of going on maybe. So let's fill this top layer here. Another new layer on above uh, the two color layers we have here. And then we're gonna make it, fill it in with black. And then we're gonna either take an eraser, which is fine. And then just give ourselves this sort of grading and type of thing. Pull that back a little bit on the opacity and probably set it to overlay. And then, so you can see the before and after of that. I think that adds a little more depth to what we got going on here. Next thing I wanna do is let's complete the, the back and the front with, with the right text we wanna use. And then I, I think I might even add one more picture to the front here, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it right now in my head. So it could it could say like uh, a lot of times on the back of obituaries it'll say something like um, final arrange oops final arrangements entrusted to and then this is just like the funeral home's way of like kind of signing the obituary and and just letting you know like. If you wanted to, to visit the grave site, then maybe this is where you go or these are the people you contact to figure out how to do that. So we'll just put, I'm just gonna put funeral home goes here because that's where that would go. In a regular font in Baskerville. I want it to stand out too much. And then usually like under that, there'd be like address of the funeral home. Let's just pull this up a little bit, closer to the bottom. Okay, cool. Now, for some reason, these, these colors here are bugging me, like, I don't know why. And maybe they, it might not bug me later, but what I wanna do is highlight this middle section again with the marquee tool and I have my layer selected of Kobe. And since it blends over to this side, I just wanna only mess with part of it, the part that's on the purple side. And what I wanna do is go to image adjustments, desaturate, just to get that color out of there. I don't know why, just, it just was bothering me. One could argue that it looks better with the color, but I mean, it's just artistic choice at that point. So we got a nice cut out here. And I think this picture goes really nicely with the other photo. What I'll probably end up doing, I think maybe is like fading the bottom out a little bit, just in general. And that actually didn't turn out quite like how I would, thought it would have. So what I'm gonna do is let's uh, put these photos together in a group. And then make a mask over that. Go back to our gradient. Just pull up a little bit. And then actually, let's pull Kobe up a little bit too. And then even him, even more so. So now we can do, I'm gonna 
front. Let's move this up some. Now we could do like a Kobe Bean. this huh. I have like this sort of similar font to the Lakers that I think I'm gonna use Just so this font sticks out the way it needs to, I'm gonna put a little bit of a glow around the back of it. Spread that a little more. Okay, now we need to look at, it. let's see. Kobe Bryant. August 23rd. And then my, my obituary info just came from Wikipedia. Obviously, I wouldn't do this in real life. I would get with the family and get what type of information they want placed about their loved one in, their, in this obituary. But since I don't have access to Kobe Bryant or his family, or Kobe Bryant's family, and I also don't have uh, any intention on this actually being their their uh, obituary. I'm just gonna fill it in to my best to the best of my ability without having any research available. Hmm. Let's do it like this. Trying to get things to fit in here nicely without looking tacky. Maybe I'll do like a uh, Jan 26 to August 23rd. Nice. I think this looks good. too big in my opinion that's too big and then we could put at the top like uh, in loving memory of I think I want this in Baskerville or like uh, one of these fonts I've just used recently Try to stick to like two or three fonts. I mean, if you can make more of them look good, that's fine, but I only stick to a couple per piece so that it doesn't look like it's all over the place. Or I'll put remembering. Let's, let's go for some different textures to make this look cool. Actually, one more thing I want to do before I dive into textures is let's 
make a new layer. We're gonna take our marquee tool. We're gonna draw a rectangle around the edge. And then I wanna do edit stroke. Oh, let's do black, or let's do white. Um, let's do 10 pixels. So now we have like this cool border here. Set that the overlay. So now we have this like cool border going around the outside. I think that's dope. And I think I want to duplicate that and bring one to the back also. But not the front, or not the middle. One other thing uh, this might have on the front is the date of the funeral. So I'll put like date. So the name of the pastor usually goes at the bottom with the guy who's going to be giving the eulogy. Let's make this a little, a little more, uh, I'd like like a yellow light coming from Kobe. I was going to do like a the whole clouds with the wings thing but that's kind of like overdid so I decided to try to run with another idea another theme another idea this just blends them in a little bit better with the background I think I'll just keep it on the left side Now's the time to introduce the joints. then maybe a little bit on the tech yeah that's the why wow, that's dope it's coming together Okay, so this will be our front side. I think at, at the top, I still wanna put some type of title. At the top, we'll put uh, Celebrating Life. One other thing I'd like to do to this background, very last thing, is I'm gonna fill this with black, and then I'm gonna filter, I'm gonna add a little bit of noise. Just to add a bit of a texture to the artwork. I think, as a subtle thing this looks really dope 
and then and then I'm done with the with the outside of this. I think this is great. One last thing I want to do is make sure that this font is purple. We want purple fonts. Great. So this will be our outside. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a Kobe Bryant outside. Now we're ready to move on to the inside, which would have very, very similar characteristics. So what I'm actually gonna do is just go ahead and just delete a few things. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of that. Top. Get rid of remembering. Now we're dealing with over here. Um, the rest of the stuff needs to go as well. Like all of this has to go. But I'm gonna keep it for now. I'm just gonna change it to say something else. So this is where the middle part generally, or the end, might be where order of services go. Um, I am going to, let's see. First of all, let's get back to our colors. Okay, so I think my order of services is gonna be the last page here. And this middle part might continue to be the biography. I don't know. So I just, like I said, I have a thing here from Wikipedia that I'd like to use that is by no means a 100% accurate representation of his life. Probably not because anybody can edit these, but it is. A cool way to get this started at least so we'll do that we're gonna have to get rid of this Kobe picture here so we can read okay just erase that here is part of an interview with the subject just before LS rid of that this here should be Too much info to put in one section. So this next section over here would just be like more info on this. Let's move this over. It's not important right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this. So because I want it to be the exact same size and all of that but except this is gonna be yellow now and then the rest of the the rest of the biography will go here uh, shouldn't it should be justified to the left or it should be a flush left or justified this one but I don't like to use that one usually I usually use that for order of service or something so got that there that doesn't need to go there this do not weep can go if you haven't realized what I'm doing I'm just I'm making the back side out of the front side PSD because it saves me the trouble of making a new document and trying to arrange everything the way it needs to be. So 
I'm actually just gonna end up calling this Kobe Bryant inside design. Now I have an outside and an inside already going on. Um, maybe I won't use this like I thought I would. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna use it, but in a different way. Let's see, make Bryant smaller. So we could do Kobe B Bryant. And then it would start off just straight off the bat like Kobe B Bryant was an American professional basketball player or whatever the, the whatever the bio would say. But yeah, this is how we would set that up. Oh, let's see, let's put a little bit of space between our paragraphs. And bam. This should be there. And then this last section here would be order of service. So next, when we're doing the order of service, uh, if you have issues with this part, like I do, you could just look online for an example of how they go. But just know that an order of service goes into the obituaries. And it's pretty necessary. It's just telling people like what's gonna happen. So usually it'd be like, okay, Sessional, and then like on the end it tells you who's doing it so it'd be like maybe family or pastor or whatever so I'm just going to copy and paste this down a few times everyone is going to be different scripture that might be read by the pastor or a family or pastor or family this so we can let's see I don't like it being in caps family so I said family does that and it's usually labeled like sort of like I guess this is like how table of contents are kind of made and I'm just copying this again, like I said, to save me the trouble of making all those dots. Scripture might be by the family as well, or the pastor. If it's by the same person, or the same thing as the top line, you can just bam, 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 bam. Uh, prayer. Let's say, pastor. James. I have no idea what pastor, the pastor's name would be. Just making things up to fill in these blanks. And then selection, choir. Uh, some, funeral ser some funeral services won't even have this many things. It'll be like three things and then they're done. Uh, marks. Obituary reading, and then eulogy, and then I'm going to do a recessional. So, the 
The eulogy will be read by Pastor James. Obituary could be read by somebody in a family. I don't know. I'll just keep family there. I think I think anyone could read that part. Anyone could do the eulogy too. It's just whoever the, the people decide, the family decides on who should do the, these things. So now that we got our order of service here going on, a lot of times once I have all this, it's pretty much done now. So I would show it, I would fill up the spaces, show it to the family in question, and I would ask them if there's any changes that they want to make or any additions. And this is usually where they would hit me with like uh, some poems or just a bunch of photos. So, and it'd be like family photos. So let's have the eulogy looking like, looking real nice like that. Uh, we can actually spread this out a little more. What I'm just doing is just space in the leading. Okay, I don't no longer need that, so I can just. Bam. So now, what I want to do is, I don't get rid of that. Um, I think on the inside, I'm gonna have just this border thing through the middle one. I don't know why, it just looks, it looks cool to me like that. There's no specific reason why I'm doing that besides for like aesthetic purposes. So now we have here, actually, let's write order of service in this cool font that we wrote, Kobe Bryant's name. So here's our order of service. And now I'm gonna fill this up with, with more photos. So let's see, I'll just. This is good. Um, shrink this down so that it fits nice and snug somewhere. Maybe like, uh, like that. And then we'll just pull this up a little more so that everything fits nice and neatly. This photo here could be blended in in a cool way. Maybe like that or it just depends on, it's up to whatever you would like to do. I like the overlays, so I'm gonna go with that. And I'm still gonna put a mask on here and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the gradient and kind of blend up the edges away a little bit. So we got a nice picture of him and the family there. One more here would be cool.
I also would like another thing of noise. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. Put the noise underneath the text. So the text doesn't look like it's fuzzy or anything like that. And bam, here's our inside. Now let's, uh, there's a couple more things I wanna do. Um, I got some clouds here, so maybe I will do a little bit of cliche uh, obituary designing. I'm just gonna put these in the background though, like, I don't want them to stand out too much. I just set it to overlay and put it in the background. And the last thing I want to do is, uh, I want to put a basketball on here. Here we go, right here. I'm just going to take the magic wand tool and then bam, whoops, sorry, bam. And then hit delete. Oh, whoops. First off, let's rasterize this. And then let's try that. Hit delete. So this ball can go like, I kind of just want it to be like here. And then just want it to blend in a little bit. Okay, so here's the Kobe Bryant, my interpretation of a Kobe Bryant memorial slash obituary layout. Um, this could be used, this style could be used for virtually like any athlete or any person in general, as long as you like include little things about their life into the design. Like Kobe was a basketball player, so I had the basketball and pictures of him, you know, participating in the NBA. So as long as you're able to use little bitty elements to tell about that person's life, then the obituary come out super, super dope. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or comments, you go ahead and leave them below. And if you would like me to design something for you, you can go ahead and email me and we can talk about that. Like I said, I appreciate you guys watching as usual and look out for the next one. Peace.